Professor T.G. Ramohan from IIM Ahmedabad now joining us on this conversation. Uh, Professor Ramohan, thank you for joining us. Do you think the Reserve Bank was, for starts, being overcautious uh, in seeking the Election Commission's nod? Well, I would think that the RBI's caution is uh, well uh, warranted because, uh, you know, you would have noticed that even in the case of gas pricing, which was decided nearly a year ago, uh, the EC decided to put that on hold. So in that context, I think it was appropriate for the RBI to approach the EC in this particular matter. Um, you know, so much uh, time has uh, been spent since the issue of bank licenses was first mooted, if I remember correctly, it was mooted in the budget of uh, 2010. So if you could wait four years before issuing licenses, I reckon you can certainly wait for another 45 sure. days. Sure. Uh, I have another, you know, a larger in principle question, Ramon. Uh, the system, the banking system already is reeling under problems of NPAs. What is it that existing banks cannot do that requires new banks to come in? Yes, I think that's a very uh, valid question, and I think it has not been properly addressed in the current debate or even in the RBI's discussion paper mm. on new bank licenses. I think the whole point about bringing in new players is to introduce more competition into the market. Now, if you're saying that you need more competition in the market, then you have first have to take a view on whether the Indian banking system as it exists now has adequate competition or not. And one of the measures that is commonly used for this purpose is what is called the concentration ratio, where you look at the share of the top five or three banks, the market share in the overall market. And if you look at the market share of the top five banks, the concentration ratio in Indian banking, you will find that it tends more towards a relatively fragmented system like the US than towards a highly concentrated banking system. In other words, if you look at the concentration ratio, you will come to the conclusion that there is adequate competition in the Indian banking system. So why do we need new players at all? Then you could argue that the point is not having uh, adequate competition, but having the right kind of competition. Mm. So you have a market in which 70 to 75 percent of the market is dominated by public sectors. Right. And what you mean by more competition is bringing in more new private players. In right. other words... The whole attempt is to shrink the role of the public sector right. by bringing in more players and trying to enhance the role of the private sector. Sure. But if that is indeed the policy objective, I think the RBI needs to be forthright about that. Okay. Sir, uh, let me push this a little further. The Reserve Bank of India yesterday distinguished between specialized or differentiated banks and full-service banks. Uh, what do you make of that distinction? Why is it that I have to prove myself uh, operating as a smaller player to get myself a, li a li license to operate a full-service bank? Yeah, okay. So the first point is, do you need more licenses? And that can be answered in a way, as I said, by saying that you need more competition. Mm. The second is the form in which you want to introduce new players. Mm. Do you want to bring in full-scope banks? Or do you think that the purpose of greater competition can be better achieved by bringing specialized entities, say a payments bank or a wholesale bank, mm. the sort of entities that have been mooted in the Nachiket Moore Committee report? Mm. Now... In principle, there's no difficulty in having uh, specialized players who will cater to particular markets mm. or will operate in particular niches and so on. But I think from the regulator's point of view, the key issue is how do you ensure that there is no regulatory arbitrage? Mm. So if you bring in a new set of players with a special regulatory regimen, mm. say a different kind of SLR ratio, a lower SLR ratio mm. or a lower PLR obligation, then how do you ensure that you're going to have a level playing field? So ensuring that the rules are tweaked in such a way that oh. there is no regulatory oh. arbitrage is a very demanding proposition. And that is something which the RBI has to keep in view if it, when it thinks about differentiated licensing. And it's certainly thinking very hard about this issue. There's a lot of debate going on on this.